Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick update on the Toxic Rain slash Caustic Arrow character. Uh, we are currently level 85. We're still cutting, you know, running kind of low tier maps because I don't really have the choice in what maps drop. But I want to show you guys it in yellow tier maps. Uh, we just hit yellow tier. I haven't even run any yet. So I'm going to demonstrate in a tier 6 academy map. And then I'll go over my gear and everything after. Remember, if you want the build guide, just go look through the video guides. Um, they're all linked on the first video. So I'll go ahead and check them out. This is going to be with a Quill Rain. Uh, this is a Quill Rain with a 5 link Caustic Arrow, really fast. Vicious Projectiles, Caustic Arrow, Swift Affliction, Void Manip, and Decay. Now, the reason why I'm using Decay is only because when I'm fighting bosses, they do move around a lot, and I can't always just, you know, I don't want to just keep spamming my Cloud. Uh, I would rather spam my single target skill, so I just shoot Decay, which sticks to them for, like, I don't know, quite a long time. Uh, if you don't want to use Decay, you can use, like, Efficacy, you can use Conk Effect, I don't recommend that. Damage on Full Life is another really good support. Uh, and then our four link is Mirage Archer, Void Minip, Vicious Proj, and Toxic Rain. Even though Toxic Rain looks like it's going to be doing majority of the stuff and you can just play a Toxic Rain build, I mainly just have Toxic Rain on at all times because it constantly slows targets and then I'll simply just bop them with the uh, Poison Arrow. The last thing is I did remove the Pierce. I feel like it's not really necessary since I have one Pierce on my Quiver and Quill Rain just shoots so fast. I'd rather get some extra HP. We'll be getting 6,000 health once we spec into Thick Skin. Let's go! Orb of Fusion. Why are you guys making fun of the loot filter, man? <laughs> Shut up, chat! Stop laughing at me, dude! <laughs>
Okay, so for the single target, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna shoot a caustic arrow at him, shoot another one, and we're just gonna spam toxic rain. Again, caustic arrow, toxic rain, caustic arrow, and he's dead. Uh, once we get our uber lab point, we will have like way better mana management. But to be honest, I don't really care about that right now because even on a four link, it just kills targets. Okay, zero monsters remaining. So that's pretty much how the character clears. So let's talk about defenses right now. As this is an SSF character, I can't really be super picky, but we are sitting at 15k evasion, pretty decent, along with 30%, or sorry, 40% dodge. Uh, the dodge comes from uh, acrobatics that we have, along with phase acro. Now, the only thing I've really changed with the tree, like I said, is I spec out of piercing shots, uh, and I also changed this progression. Uh, I basically removed thick skin to go into golem's blood immediately, um, just to have a little bit more sustain. Uh, and now my next five points are going to be back into thick skin. Uh, in terms of my links, I've got, you already know these two, so I've got uh, Temporal Chains, Blasphemy, that's what I really like. Graces by itself, leveling and damage on full life. Got Mirage, Archer, Void Manip, Vicious Proj, Toxic Rain. Uh, increased Duration, Rallying Cry, Phase Run. You could four link this with Efficacy for additional duration. And then I've got Blink Arrow, Faster Proj, Haste. I did get pretty lucky and find a Bubonic Trail. Uh, this comes off of the Abyss boss. Uh, the reason why I'm using Bubonic Trail is it gives me max life. It doesn't give that much max life, but when you pair 5% with a Jewel, it pretty much equals out to like what a piece of gear would be, if not a bit more. Um, now, Bubonic Trail also gives me 30% movement speed, which is exactly what your normal boots would be. You get a little bit of evasion, and you get 10% increased damage for each type of Abyss Jewel affecting you. So I've got two Jewels here and a simple jewel right here, which is pretty nice. Um, with Bubonic Trail, it's also cool because it kind of allows me to um, spec out of two damage nodes and into a jewel, put a pure life jewel in, and even though it's a pure life jewel, I still get 10% increased damage. Really, really, really good for uh, like pretty much gearing through SSF. Now, a lot of these are pretty big damage node clusters, so I don't really want to drop them, but yeah, that's pretty much the character. Um, if you guys are curious, this is Weave the Arcane as our Uber Lab. We get a ton of maximum mana. That's good because we're going to be scaling not that much max mana, but the maximum mana is good because of the proc, which is a 20% a chance to recover 10% of your max mana when you use a skill. Uh, we're also going to get reduced damage taken after spending mana, which will happen when we're bossing because of how fast we shoot. And furthermore, it's going to make it so our Blink Arrow costs no mana, which is just nice in case we get, you know, or Oom, which doesn't really happen. Uh, in that instance, but also after using it, we get 20% attack speed, which is even better. Um, so some other like simple mechanics that we're going to do. Remember, this is a pure damage over time build. We're not scaling initial hit, we're not scaling fizz, and we're not scaling poison. So damage over time is this. This little toxic cloud here is damage over time. Two of these sources do not stack with each other at all. The only thing that stacks is that initial explosion, which is the physical slash converted physical. If you use GMP, it will increase that overlap. In the future, I will look for a plus one arrow quiver so we can shoot two at the same time, but I don't really care for it right now. In terms of other things that stack, toxic rain creates pods on the floor. These pods scale with duration. The more duration you have, the longer the pods last. That's why I've spec'd into exceptional performance here. I also may end up using increased duration. Now, the thing is, is the pods grow and grow and grow, and I believe the way they work is each pod has its own independent PBAOE, that's point blank area of effect, damage over time. So by doing this, you increase the amount of pods, the pods add up to be your single target damage. Now, we don't really scale much AOE, but on the flip side, we do scale skill effect duration, which allows us to basically do a bit more damage single target. And that's pretty much how the character works. Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're curious on some other things, you can always catch me streaming live at twitch.tv slash pox. One other thing to mention is if you're curious on the loot filter, you can pop into my stream and also type exclamation mark filter. It'll pop that up for you along with any other commands you choose to type. Have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone.